How's it going Aquarius? Welcome to the channel. Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing great. So it's time for June 2020 general readings for the month. So I was actually going to use the essential tarot but um, when I was getting ready prepared to sit down and do your reads I was I was guided to use Gilded Tarot. So that's the deck I'm shuffling here right now. And then I was also guided to pull a Romance Angel Oracle card from the deck at the end of the reading because I've been feeling like there's there's love in the air and the daily reads for May. I was seeing a lot of the lovers cards, so it just made sense. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all your comments and for subscribing to the channel and um, yeah, like I said before, I hope you're all doing a wonderful. So I'm going to look at the main theme of the month, which is, is going to help project the energy available to you. Just keep in mind that your decisions will always affect the energy that is seen in the reading, right? And that this is a general read. All right, I'm going to do a deck cut main theme of the month. Well, this is fantastic. So we've got the Ace of Cups here, you guys. So the Ace of Cups, it relates to, first of all, it's your emotions. So Cups is the water element. And so there's going to be something coming in related to, is going to make your heart overflow with joy. Um, I like how the moon cycle is there. So it's, it's generally showing like a cycle of 28 days or almost about a month something really beautiful and then you have the third eye coming in out of the sky there so depending what your belief system is like you're you're probably going to have to get in touch um with your third eye to be able to see these opportunities they could be more felt than seen um you could be getting whispers from your um team of spirit guides your angels archangels um god i always talk about meditation but this is when you get the clearest messages um i just started doing something the other day you guys uh shamanic meditation and like you just basically have to like youtube shamanic meditation and it's a specific type of music that comes up like it's the drums right it's like from the um native american culture right so and it's kind of stunning and this can really help you get in touch to like i don't know if you know what shamanic journeying is but it's like giving you visions like the vision quest and seeing your life unfold and what sort of cues to follow so that could really help you out in the coming month like really doing an intense meditation and if you're into trying new things like try that shamanic journeying that shamanic meditation it was like i just tried it the other day for the first time and it was it was pretty cool so that's the main theme of the month is like something is being offered to you it will be offered to you and just one second you guys just one sec i just wanted to have a quick look at the reference book to see if i was missing anything i felt like i was missing something for that card for you but um you know, I think I covered it pretty well. So let's see the past influence affecting this month, which is, you know, sometimes the past, it just never goes away. It never puts its head down and just behaves itself. You know, some things could come and I'm seeing like blisteringly into your, into your present moment and it doesn't belong there. You know, whether this is going to be another person or just your own haunted memories, I don't know. But let's have a quick look at a second card here. Past influence affecting this month. So there it is. So you've got the Eight of Cups and something that you... I think you're just still trying to move past something really emotional. You can see with this card here... That the character is looking forward but you're still attached to something you guys and i guess that's okay as long as it's not interfering with your new opportunities that they're like dying to come in for you but you know if you've got an emotional roadblock like this cup is gonna gonna meet that force and it, it won't be able to come in or if it does it's gonna be like a watered down 
trickle effect of, you know, it's just going to lose its power because you're still like, and if it's romantic, then you guys are still like sort of mourning your ex somehow, whether they're on the other side of the veil or, you know, it was a breakup or whatever. I'm definitely seeing this like, or you just lost a job and you feel really tethered to it emotionally. You feel re really angry at the, the company or the, the boss that let you go. You know, there's so many different emotional complexities, you guys. So I'm really seeing where you need to work on that a little bit in order for the future to come in to your present moment. So being stuck like it's not, you're not living in the present moment. It's like wishing things would happen for you, but the past is still attached to you. So the present is not allowed to happen for you because you're just sort of standing there. Roadblocks of the month, 10 of cups, which is really interesting. You're really focused on your happiness, but I'm not sure if you've done a lot of healing here from your past and the only thing that's going to work for you is to give people an absolution or um, a forgiveness whether you feel like forgiving somebody or not like the forgiveness is for you right so how can you be focused on your happiness when you're still looking or feeling tethered to something that has gone it's already gone but the really cool thing is here that all your cards are cups. So this could be a bit of a emotional roller coaster for you this month. And the universe really wants to offer you something to replace what has been lost with the eight of cups. And that you probably wanted it to go away anyway. But sometimes if it's removed before you get the option to do so, like the ego could be bruised a little bit. Um, so your roadblock of the month being the Ten of Cups, it kind of makes sense because you haven't really, um, I'm getting some really strange words here. Like I'm getting that like euthanized, exercised, you know, really just put things to bed, you know, that don't belong in your present moment anymore. Living in the past, it just does nothing for you except make you sad and tied to a situation that it's obviously run its course because it's gone. And I feel like somebody took it away from you before you were able to control the process. So you're gonna have to let that go you know if you're really upset about somebody controlling the process and that's the thing holding you back like say you wanted to break up with somebody but they dumped you first or you wanted to quit your job but they let you go first like it doesn't matter you got what you wanted right um so just kind of dust yourself off and move forward because the ten of cups here it shouldn't be a roadblock, you know? And maybe you're looking at this, well, I could have been happy there. And you know, it's like people have buyer's remorse, you know? So they actually get what they want and then they look back and go, oh, you know, maybe I, you know, so maybe you wanted to break up with somebody or, you know, quit your job, but then whatever happened, somebody took the control and then you're like, oh, maybe I should have stayed with that person or maybe that was the best job for me. Or maybe I should have stayed in that city that I hated or with that group of friends that were no good for me. Do you know what I mean? It's like looking at this event as if it was the happiest thing going on in your life, but it wasn't and you wanted to release it, but somebody else flushed the toilet for you and now you want to stand there staring down the drain. I don't know where I get this stuff. So possibilities of the month, you guys. So we've got the King of Cups. Oh. You guys can create whatever you want right now. You've been given a clean slate for a reason. And it's so that you can move forward. You have all these cups. So everything is going to hinge on how you feel about your present situation right now. So the King of Cups is here. His energy is coming in for you guys. So you can sort of create everything 
from the building blocks that you were given with a chain of events that whether you actually pulled the trigger or not, you manifested because of what you were feeling. So if you're feeling like things were left out of your control, it doesn't matter how it happened because this is what you wanted for yourself anyway. It just didn't play out the way your grand scheme was supposed to unfold, but that's okay because you got what you wanted. Like really, truly, you did get what you wanted for your ultimate happiness, whether it's making your human self happy in the moment or not. So the possibilities are that you can create whatever you want now. It's just gonna take a little bit of a snip of that tether that is holding you back because you have every other thing going here for you. It's crazy. It's crazy, like, I, I've never done a read where every single card was cups and ending up with the king of cups who is like, notorious for the way he can create things just by feeling so you got to start using your feelings for you instead of against you you know with the ten of cups like stop looking into the past like when the past calls you don't answer because there's nothing new to say to you so very very um interesting sort of i'm getting words like twisted and convoluted because you feel like you should be happy but you're not and I think it's because of that one control element. And as soon as you release that, knowing that the universe has actually gifted you with the circumstances that you really wanted, then I think you'll be feeling a whole lot better. So let's have a look at what the Romance Angels Oracle cards have to say for you. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's a new love offering because you do have that Ace of Cups. Good grief. Okay, so I feel like that's good. So trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And I think this is like really what this whole reading was trying to say. Like trust that everything turned out for the best for you. Trust that the universe was responding to what your soul really needed for you and what you were really ultimately hoping for from the bottom of your heart. And sometimes it does take your emotional body to catch up to your intellectual body and get everything working on the same page and you guys are all running in steps. So you could be feeling a little bit unhinged. Some circumstances are quite trying. Um, so I really wanna recommend that shamanic journey into you, that shamanic meditation, because there's something so, like the beat of it, like go check it out after the reading. The beat of it is just really so intrinsic to how you could operate and it could get you like moving a little bit more in sync into the future. So really, really trust that the universe is giving you everything that you need to accomplish everything that you want. And just keep that in mind, you guys, always. And take advantage of the circumstances. Like people that are the most successful, they look at situations and wait for their opportunity. They don't look back and go, well, if I was still there, then I could do this and this. You're here. So what can you do here? And pay attention to the cues because you're gonna be getting them. Use that King of Cups energy to your best advantage to create your most highest bliss. So guys, take care of yourselves. Have a great month.